Hi, this is Dr. Fruth, family physician, and this is today's consultation. Today, I'd like to talk about PEP and PrEP, post-exposure prophylaxis and pre-exposure prophylaxis. And what are we trying to prevent? HIV. I was in medical school during the early phases of the HIV epidemic, and I can tell you it was a rough time. But since then, people who are infected with the HIV virus can expect to live decades of a healthy and productive life thanks to many new drugs and new drug protocols that have been developed. While HIV still is a very serious infection, there are some new uh, protocols available to help prevent going on to becoming infected with HIV should you be exposed to the virus. And that's what I'd like to talk about today. But all this does not prevent the very important part of prevention. And that includes using condoms if you are in a sexual relationship and uh, with high risk for getting HIV or not sharing needles if you're using IV drugs. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is PET or post-exposure prophylaxis. This refers to taking a two pill, three drug regimen within 72 hours of contact with HIV. So if you were to, for instance, say, be in a relationship or have sex with someone who might be at risk for having HIV and the condom breaks, you would want to be sure that you seek out health care with someone who is familiar with prescribing PEP. During that visit, your HIV status will be checked. You'll be checked for other STDs and blood work may be done to be sure that you're healthy enough to take the drug for the next four weeks. At the end of the four weeks, uh, it's recommended that you have your HIV status checked again and in three months and in six months. There is a risk calculator available on the CDC website. You can get to that by just Googling CDC and PEP or CDC HIV, and it'll give you a lot of information on who uh, is eligible for PEP. But again, if there's a high risk contact, the condom breaks, you think that person may have HIV or could have HIV, or if you share a needle with someone who may have HIV, please seek out someone who is familiar with prescribing post-exposure prophylaxis. If the drug were to fail, it's important to know the early signs of an HIV infection. Those include fever, aching, headache, diarrhea, swollen lymph nodes, rash. Next, I'd like to talk about PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis. This refers to taking a two drug combination in one pill called Truvada. And this is for people who are in an ongoing relationship with someone who is HIV positive or a male who has sex with men who either is not in a monogamous relationship, is not using condoms, or has had an STD in the last six weeks. Also, it's advised for someone who does share uh, drugs of using IV or share needles of using IV drugs. Again, a risk calculator is available on the CDC website. So if you are a candidate for PrEP, again, you'll seek out a physician who is familiar with using PrEP. And at that uh, encounter, you will probably be entered or asked to be entered into a contract to be sure that you're compliant with the guidelines for taking PrEP. You'll be uh, checked for HIV, other STDs, and blood work will be done to be sure that you're healthy enough to take the medication. Then you'll be seen in the minimum of about every three months so that your HIV status can be checked to be sure that you haven't converted well on the PrEP. So again, PEP is for people who have had a high-risk contact and should be started or must be started within 72 hours and is taken for four weeks. This is a two-pill, three-drug regimen. PrEP is a one-pill, two-drug regimen for people with ongoing exposure to HIV. I can't emphasize enough the importance of prevention by using condoms and also not sharing uh, needles if using IV drugs. This is uh, Dr. Fruth, family physician. This was today's consultation. This video is meant for educational purposes, so please contact your personal healthcare professional for advice about your healthcare needs.